Today, I'd like to give a little tip on doing decline curve analysis. Uh, a lot of our projects, we have producing wells that we have to evaluate, and we have to do a projection, decline projection on each one, because our clients like an engineer to look at every well. We don't use auto fitting or, you know, uh, that kind of thing. So uh, I use PhD Wind software for my projects, our projects, and uh, I'd like to show you a little tip that we use. So here's an example sample. So what you do if you, if you have uh, several wells, say in one reservoir, like this one is the Eagleford, you, uh, you generate a normalized curve of all the Eagleford wells in the area that would be applicable to the producing wells. And so here's an example. So here's a normalized curve. This is what we use most of the time for, for like drilling type curves, but we're going to use it for the producing well. So what you do is you make a normalized curve and you put the well count on there. And this one has 200 wells drop into 100. Well, when it gets to half the well count, you d delete the production from that point and just use the, uh, our, uh, the representative well. So anyway, here's a, here's a type curve for the Eagleford wells in the area. So you take that and then you, uh, you make a copy of that as another case and you clip it to have a little short manageable uh, length. And then you use the, uh, you save this as a case uh, profile and you apply this to all the Eagleford wells that you need to uh, do declines on. So, so you put that on every one. So here's an example. So what happens is when you go to your first well, you already have the little template, well, uh, the template here, and you just move it to fit uh, the curve. And if you need to adjust the B factor or anything like that, you can uh, if you have to. But you just uh, fit that in. You already have a little template with the, with the average B factor and all on there. So you uh, put that in and uh, go ahead and project it on out. And then you can move to the next well. And you have, you have your curve already on there. You can just adjust the fit. And it speeds up the process. You have something already there. So anyway, that's how we do it. It speeds us up. We can get the projects done faster, but hope that that's a good tip for you guys. Thanks.